What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video I'm going to show you how to show the FPS meter on your Samsung Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, S23 Ultra to get the device performance and the FPS being generated while you are playing high-end games on your device. So here we go. So checking the FPS while playing a game is a very common phenomena especially for the gamers to see how good their device is performing for their favorite games. But by default this option is not enabled on your Samsung Galaxy smartphones and you will have to do it manually. So to get the FPS meter on your Samsung Galaxy S23 series devices first of all you have to go to the settings and then you have to go to the developer options. If you do not know how to get the developer options on your Samsung Galaxy S23 or whatever Samsung Galaxy smartphone you got then you can watch my another video where I have showed this. The link is given in the description below or you can click on the link appearing at the top right corner of the display. Once you get the developer options just tap on it to go inside. Now you will find lots of options. Just scroll down and go to the game section where you will find an option called GPU watch. Just Tap on this and after that by default it is turned off so you need to tap on this slider to turn it on. Now you can see that by default we are getting three options FPS load and context info. Now if you swipe down from the notification panel you can see that GPU watch is enabled. If I tap on this you can see we are getting some options to turn off the GPU watch, hide the widget, unlock the widget, select the context or go to this screen of the setting. So now if I go back from here to the main screen, you can see this widget is showing at the top because we have three widgets enabled here, FPS, load and context info. It is showing three widgets. You can customize it. So first of all, let's have a look on the widgets we got. So you can see here we are getting the FPS that is 60 right now, the CPU and GPU consumption and here we are getting the context info. So now you can remove the load and the context info because it is not much helpful for us if we just want to have a look on the FPS meter but if you want to check the CPU performance as well then you can use the load as well. So let's go to the GPU watch and delete the context info first and we can also delete the load and you can also customize the FPS information so you can select whether you would like to get the small medium or large size FPS meter if we select a small it, the widget will be like this and it will show the FPS if we select large it will show larger chart and then medium it's totally up to you what you want it will show the current average in terms of FPS and you can also select other values to show on the FPS meter including the CPU and GPU load so you do not need to select a separate widget for CPU and GPU consumption you can include it in one widget on FPS meter itself. So you can see that we are getting the current average CPU load and GPU load and it works on every screen. So if you go back from here to any screen you can see that the FPS meter is working at the top of the screen. Once again if you find it is occupying lots of space especially when you are playing game then you can once again go to the settings and reduce its size. So this is how you can enable the FPS meter on your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, S23, S23 Plus or any of the Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.